good morning to you. It must be five o'clock on the Eastern Standard Time because it's time for another Hardison's tip. I'm your host, Brandon Hardison. Glad to be with you. We do this for all of our brothers and sisters who happen to be in this vertical called sales, whether it's key account, major account, up and down the street, in-home sales, retail sales, and automotive sales. But today we would like to focus in our brothers and sisters that are out there on the beat, knocking on doors, getting around geek gatekeepers to get to the decision makers. So those people that work key accounts, major accounts, not going to keep you on, but just something to think about. After gathering insights about any company that's out there and the contact or contacts that you need to be prepared with your presentation, let's start doing things the right way. And here's what I mean. Focus on the challenges of the prospects. What are they facing in their environment? This is how you build your presentation to overcome that current pain that they have. Sales people should be ready to present themselves in front of one of your trusted advisors because these people that are advocates for you and your business have been with you for a while. So do your research and find out what they're needing for that particular quarter, what their skill sets are and how we're going to achieve it to overcome the pain that they're having. Keep your presentation simple. There's so many of us that go in and we think we're presenting to the Supreme Court. Keep it simple. A simple deck, if you have a PowerPoint, simple information, making sure if you do have pass outs, make sure everybody has it. Let them know what's happening. You don't have to give it a title but cover what you would like to do. Mr. Client, thank you for your time. Mrs. Client, hey, it's glad to be with you again. How's the first quarter going? What's the roadblocks? What can we do as a preferred vendor to help you reach this year's quarterly or annual year goal? We need to practice our presentation. Adults hate to hear the word practice, practice. But you know as well as I do, I don't care what you do out there, instrument, athletics, music of any kind, I don't even care if you are someone that's on a sports team. People practice to get better. You need to practice so your audience on the other side, the customer or customers can see that you really concerned about them because you took the time. Now, after you nail your presentation, the game's not over. Now we have to really get to work because the clock is ticking. They're expecting you to solve that problem. So don't wait, get it out the way. Also, end every meeting with your presentation. Don't begin with it. In the meeting with your presentation, don't begin with it. And here's why. I still need to do my due diligence of asking high gang questions because I'm not in the meetings that they have. I'm just coming as a preferred vendor. So get your niceties, get to the Q&A, and then get to your solution. That's what the presentation is designed for. If you can consider that you want to be the best of the best, make sure that this is done and you'll have a better experience. Once again, Brandon Hardison on a beautiful Tuesday, the sixth day of April. Get on out there and you make it a champion day.